Welcome to another sorcery video. Today I'm going over a deck that I've built. It's a fire and water deck that was constructed using both a fire pre-constructed deck and a water one. Also using content from one um, alpha booster box. And that's the access you can just see there. Alright, let's get into it. The sorcerer we're using today for this deck is just the standard sorcerer. This specific edition is from a backer booster pack, which has Eric's signature, the creator of the game. So the reason we're using the generic one is because I fought both the fire and the water sorcerers weren't appropriate for this build, specifically their abilities. And I really like the sorcerer, the standard one, because it has a some great card draw abilities. So really this deck build started from these two cards, the Mix Aqua and the Mix Ignis. And since I pulled those from the one booster box, um, I thought I'm going to try to build a multicolored deck, not just improve the ones, the pre-constructed ones. I wanted to see how far I could stretch the creativity here, so deck has started from those two cards. The first thing I did was look at the Atlas because the mana base for this deck needs to be I'd say around 20 cards is a good starting spot. This deck is going to be revised as time goes on but the idea for the Atlas cards that I chose were I chose some really good Pretty much all of the exception went above ones from the pre-con decks. So we've got um, ones that might say minions here are spellcasters. And we have ones that can transform, such as the island Leviathan. And we've got ones that can do damage. But I found most of the water ones seem to synergize with rivers and flooding, and the fire one synergized with deserts and spellcasters. So learning that, I sort of had a base to work off of with my minions. So my staple minion for this deck is Finvale Muse, and also Cauldron Crones. And both of these are spellcasters and I have four of each thanks to the Alpha Booster Box. The Precon decks did not have spellcasters and they focused more on the flooding effects and also the desert effects. But I thought I could still use both of those elements and incorporate them into the deck. Precon Fire deck had an amazing array of spells, like Fire Bolts, for example, Minor Explosions, and Fireball, of course, which I put extra copies of from the Alpha Booster box. And I wanted to take advantage of Fire's damage output. I also wanted to incorporate some of Water's um, scrying, pretty much. So Mother Nature is a great card to include. And the Land Destruction which it has a plethora of from the flooding effect, like Wrath of the Sea. And Abundance is an interesting include as well. Doomsday Prophet is a minion that I really enjoy because it'll help um, synergize with the spells that we're going to be casting with our spell casters. So the idea will be to spread a lot of damage across the board as possible with our spellcasters. I only pulled one of these, unfortunately, so the positive effect from it is a bit, uh, bit useless, but in the future we'll hopefully pull another one. Now this is the main card of the deck. The Orb of Baal Berif. Now, what makes this card so great is that I can create copies of spells that I cast. So if I get, say, this card to cast this card 
and I have the orb out, um, I will be able to target multiple minions. And if I'm near a river, I'll be able to trigger that river. Here is an example of a basic board state. So on our side of the field, we have a spellcaster with an orb. We have a harpy, which is also a spellcaster now. And we've got another spellcaster that can do lethal damage. This is the top five cards of the spellbook. As you can see, we can do a, do a few spells from different directions already and from different positions on the board. Well, I hope you enjoyed a brief look at the deck I've been trying to build. And I've also done a write-up on the Fable Games website that you can have a read of as well. So thank you very much.